furry friend finder when we help a four-legged friend find a forever home. Sandra DeFeo, the executive director at the Humane Society of New York, joins us this morning. And who do we have here? This is Bella. <laughs> She says, hello. Hi. She likes to talk. She's a big talker. Um, she's 12 years old. Uh, she weighs 11 and a half pounds. And she does have a, a medical condition called hyperthyroidism. So she takes a pill twice a day. And um, she does great. She loves her treats. You put a little, little pill pocket and the treat, and she eats it right up. <laughs> She's really cute. I love her her coloring like underneath her chin looks like a, <laughs> a little thing. Okay, so what kind of family would work well with Bella? Well, she should be an only cat cat, but she is, as I say, very talkative, very friendly, and I think she'd be okay with uh, children, maybe just not little, little children. I'm trying to hold her up so everyone can see how cute she is. <laughs> she is cute. Well, but we can definitely hear her. She likes to sit in your lap, um, lower down, and unfortunately, camera's not <laughs> accommodating. <laughs> Well, we, we can hear her and she is adorable. Now we have been experiencing some severe weather lately, which might frighten some pets. And also we have the 4th of July coming up, all the fireworks. What can we do to calm pets who, you know, really get agitated with the noises? Well, you can prepare for that. It's a really good idea to think ahead. Like what is a safe spot in the house that might be cozy or a cozy corner for your cat or your dog? Um, they also, you know, can benefit from, you know, soothing music. And they do make something called a thunder shirt. Um, they make them for cats and dogs. And, um, and, you know, they can be very helpful. If this isn't working, you definitely have to speak with your vet because there are medications they can take, you know, if you're anticipating a storm or the fireworks are also a big thing. You just want to plan well. You want to make sure that you know, if you think there's going to be bad weather, get your animal, you know, good exercise, get out there before the bad weather so that, you know, uh, <laughs> so that they're ready for, um, you know, you're ready for it. Okay. All right. Now we have a furry friend. We have a furry friend finder update. Six year old Dandelion, now named Dandy, is home. Jenna was unfazed by Dandy's heart condition that requires daily medication. She reports Dandy is sweet and gentle, and the pair love watching movies, which is fitting as she now lives in the theater district. Whoa, how cute. For more information on furry friend finder, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back. Look one more time. Bye. <laughs>